Hello and welcome to Chemistry Masters. In this video, we are going to discuss about the symmetry present in the carbon-carbon sigma bond. So firstly, we will be discussing that how does carbon-carbon sigma bond are formed in pericyclic reactions. And then we will be discussing that how does the symmetry are present in them. So majorly we will be discussing about two types of symmetry or two types of orbital formation that is sigma molecular orbital and sigma star molecular orbital. So let us watch that. In this video as we already have said that we are going to discuss about the sigma orbital of carbon-carbon covalent bond. So here we will discuss that which type of symmetry is present in sigma bonding molecular orbital and sigma star anti-bonding molecular orbital. But before understanding the symmetry we should be knowing that how these sigma bonding molecular orbital and sigma anti-bonding molecular orbital are formed. So for that we can take the example of 1,3-butadiene which we will be discussing in detail in our electrocyclic reactions also. We have taken the example of 1,3-butadiene where this reaction can take place in presence of light or maybe in presence of heat also and it will be giving you the product, a cyclic product. So you can see in this product what is happening, there is presence of two pi bond in the reactant while there is presence of a single pi bond in the product and as you can see between the first and fourth carbon there is formation of a sigma bond. So here in this particular video we are going to discuss about the formation of this sigma bond as well as what symmetry is present in the orbital when this sigma bond is produced. So if you talk about 1,3 butadiene molecular orbital we all know that there are four atomic orbital which get combined to make four molecular orbital. And these four molecular orbital have different HOMO and LOMO depending upon the condition of the reaction which we are providing. In case of thermal reaction, we all know that the Psi2 is acting as the HOMO. While in the case of photochemical reaction, the Psi3 star becomes the HOMO at that condition. It is sometimes also known as SOMO that is singly occupied molecular orbital. But here when we are talking about the sigma bond formation and formation of cyclic structure, we are taking this type of orientation of the molecular orbital. So here we are considering the photochemical HOMO for the particular understanding of sigma bond formation as well as for the symmetry purpose. So in this condition you can see that the two same type of lobes are present on the upper side while the two same type of lobes are present on the lower side. Now the two orbitals which are present here they move in a specific way or they get orientated in a specific way due to which there could be formation of a sigma bond. Now this sigma bonding which happens it gives you the molecular orbital formation and that molecular orbital could be of a sigma type or a sigma star type. So let us see how it happens. So due to the rotation of these orbitals two type of arrangement can be obtained. So let us talk about the first one. If I rotate these both of the orbital on the same direction means it is rotating towards my right hand side it is also rotating towards my right hand side that's why we call it as the cone rotation. In that case what will happen you can see that this red lobe or this positive lobe we can call it here will be going inwards and at the same condition what will happen this negative lobe or this white lobe will come towards my left hand side to give me this particular orientation of the orbital. Similarly, if I talk about this particular orbital out here, in this again what is happening, this red lobe is going towards outside, towards my right hand side and this white lobe or negative lobe is coming inwards towards my left hand side to give me this particular orientation. So here you can see the two orbitals which are getting interacted to each other they are of opposite kind. Now in another way if I rotate it 
towards my right hand side and this one on my left hand side. So you can see that both are being rotated towards opposite direction. That's why this is known as disc rotation. This means in opposite direction. So as it is being ro rotated towards my right hand side, it will go like this. And if it is being rotated on my left hand side, it will be rotated like this. So when this type of rotation will be there, what will happen? So as I am rotating it towards my right hand side, the positive lobe or the red lobe will go inwards and this negative lobe or white lobe will come outside to give me this type of arrangement. And here, as it is going towards inside or towards left hand side, the red lobe or the positive lobe will come inside and this negative lobe or the white lobe will go outside to give me this particular type of arrangement. So here you can see that two same type of orbitals are being interacted to each other or they are overlapping in the same way. So same type of orbital when they overlap that is known as bonding overlap or constructive overlap while two opposite type of lobes if they are getting interacted this is known as anti-bonding overlapping or destructive type of overlapping. That's why this second structure which is shown here that is known as sigma bonding molecular orbital and this is known as sigma star or you can call it as a sigma anti-bonding molecular orbital. So here the star itself tells that this is anti-bonding molecular orbital. So now we will discuss that in this sigma molecular orbital as well as sigma star molecular orbital what symmetry is present. So we already know about the symmetries. So earlier we have discussed that there is M symmetry and C2 symmetry. In the case of pi molecular orbital we have discussed that. The same type of symmetry are also present in sigma molecular orbitals. So in sigma molecular orbitals we will discuss that which type of symmetry is present in sigma and sigma star molecular orbital. So let us take the sigma molecular orbital first. So in case of sigma molecular orbital, first we will discuss whether there is M symmetry present or not. And then we will talk about that whether there is C2 symmetry present or not. So for that, let us discuss about the M symmetry first. For mirror symmetry, we all know that we have to just imaginary cut the molecule from between of the molecule and we have to see that whether on the right hand side and on the left hand side whether we are getting the same structure or not. So if you go toward the right hand side, the red lobe is there first and then the white lobe. And if you talk about the left hand side structure, again you are getting the red lobe and then the white lobe. So you can see a mirror type of arrangement is present there. That's why we can say that mirror symmetry is present there. Now let us talk about the C2 symmetry. So for C2 symmetry, we have to locate the center of the molecule. So the center of molecule can be adjusted here. And then we see that when we go towards the opposite direction, in the equal distance, whether we are getting the same type of arrangement or not. So if you go from the center towards your right hand side, you come to the center of this red lobe. And if you go to the opposite side, again, to the if you go to the same distance, you are getting the center of the red lobe or the positive lobe here also. So you can say moving from one particular point, then passing through the center and reaching to the equal distance in the opposite direction, you are getting the same structure or same arrangement. That's why there is presence of C2 symmetry. If you extend in the particular direction forward, so you will see that again in the equal distance in opposite direction you are getting the same arrangement. That's why there is presence of C2 symmetry also. Now we will be taking the example of sigma star molecular orbital or you can say sigma anti-bonding molecular orbital. So here we will just that whether there is M symmetry or not or whether there is C2 symmetry or not. So if you talk about this one, so let us again take the example for the M symmetry. So for that we have to cut the molecule from between imaginary and then we have to check the arrangement of the orbital on the either side. So on the right hand side 
and on the left hand side if you see these two are not the mirror image so here you are having the negative lobe or white lobe while on the other side you are having a red lobe or a positive lobe that's why these two are not the mirror structure or mirror image of each other now talking about the c2 symmetry so c2 symmetry as we already have discussed in that what we have to do we have to move from one particular position passing through the center of the molecule and reaching to the equal distance in the other side if you are getting the same arrangement then you will be having c2 symmetry so here this is your center if i start from here and pass from center and go to the equal distance i am not getting the same arrangement out here that's why you can say that there is no c2 symmetry also so you can say that in sigma molecular orbital there is m as well as c2 symmetry while in sigma star molecular orbital or anti bonding molecular orbital there is no mirror symmetry and there is no c2 symmetry also and this is completely opposite which we have discussed in case of pi molecular orbital in pi molecular orbital we have said that there will be either mirror symmetry or c2 symmetry in the molecule if there will be m symmetry there will be no c2 symmetry if there is c2 symmetry there will be no mirror symmetry but here in sigma both m and c2 symmetry are present while in sigma star there is no m symmetry and no c2 symmetry so hope this particular video would have cleared the concept of symmetries in carbon carbon sigma bond so from our next video we will be starting our electrocyclic reaction concept so be with us like our videos share thank you for watching